All this month, get any smartphone 32 gig and under for 50% off regular price at Appalachian Wireless. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. While supplies last, two-year agreement required. Shortly after midnight Wednesday, the Salyersville Police Department responded to a call of an alarm going off at the Parkway Gun and Pawn Shop. According to the arrest citation, once arriving on the scene, one of the responding officers outside the pawn shop saw a set of hands coming out of a vent in the eave of the building, while another officer and the owner found evidence of an intruder inside. Well, actually, uh, when we got to the gun case, we realized the gun case had been shattered and some of the guns were missing. We, we figured about six or seven guns, so it made it a real dicey situation, the word I used, because we weren't sure if the guns might have been loaded. We've got this guy on probably out of a dozen cameras, we probably have eight different views of the, uh, I guess, the, the illegal actions that were taking place in the building. The burglar was found trapped in the attic, but did not come out easily. I made entry into the attic. Uh, uh, saw him. He was laid up under some of the ventilation. Started screaming commands, show me your hands. He, he failed to, come to do that. Deployed a taser. Had no effect on him. Uh, Kentucky State Police deployed taser. Still no effect. He kept uh, blurting that he had taken medication and, and uh, just some other incoherent stuff. 38-year-old Jason Benton was arrested and charged with first-degree burglary, criminal mischief, and resisting arrest. He was lodged in the Big Sandy Regional Detention Center on a $25,000 cash bond. Reporting from Salyersville for EKB News, I'm Sean Allen.